In this video, we're going to look at how you can solve a 3 by 3 system of equations algebraically. Now, of course, a 3 by 3 means that we have three equations and three variables. In this example, we're going to look at uh, x, y, and z as our variables. And here's a, a sample for you. I'm going to write them again over here to make sure they're in the right order. This one is. It's x plus y plus z, so everything's good there. But the second one you notice is not in order. We need it to be in the same order, so we're going to change the second one by moving it around the z a little bit. 2x is okay, y is okay, but the z's on the wrong side. So we're going to bring that 3z to the left and make it positive instead of negative. And it's left equal to zero. There's nothing over on the other side now. And then the bottom one, even a little more out of order. 3x is okay. The x is fine. Then we need y. It's on the right side, so when we bring it to the left, it becomes minus 4y. z is minus 5z when we bring it to the left. And then finally we take that um, 1, that negative 1, to the right and it becomes positive 1. So here is our 3x3 three three system put in order a little bit better. If there was a letter left out of one of those, we could actually write it in and put, say, 0y if y was left out, something like that. So now we're actually ready to solve it. I like to do these by setting up, or setting up a couple of columns of information here. I start out by picking one of the three and I kinda like that first one because it looks pretty simple and I write it down twice put it over here on the left side and then I'm gonna write it again over here to the right so I use the same equation twice that's that top one right there then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the other two equations, one of one under each one of these that I just wrote. So I'm going to take that first one, actually the second one in the list, 2x plus y plus 3z equals 0, and I'm going to write under this one. And then on the other side, I'm going to write the other equation, 3x minus 4y minus 5z equals 1. I'm going to write that one under this one. And my goal here now, once I've written these this way, is in each one of the equations, I'm going to try to eliminate one of the variables. And the key is it must be the same variable in each one. So one of the reasons I used the one I used to write twice is because I noticed that x had a coefficient of 1, which usually makes it pretty easy to eliminate. So what I'm going to do is in this equation, I'm going to multiply that top equation by negative 2 which will get me a negative 2 right here, x. That's going to cancel my positive 2 above. It will also get me a negative 4y and a negative 2z. I'm just multiplying negative 2 by each term in that top equation, and that's equal to negative 18. And now by combining the two, the negative and positive 2x cancels, negative 4y plus 1y is negative 3y and then negative 2 and positive 3 is positive 1z and over here I get negative 18 so I have eliminated one of the variables on the one on the left now I'm going to do the same thing on the right I got rid of x on the left got to get rid of x on the right and so I need to, this time, multiply the top by negative 3 so that the 3 and the negative 3x will cancel. So I'm going to put it right here. Negative 3x, negative 6y, and negative 3z equals negative 27. And again, I'm going to combine the two right here. These cancel. I get negative 10y and I get negative 8z, negative 5 and negative 3, equals negative 26, positive 1, negative 27. And what I've done here is I've created now a system of two equations with two variables. So it's in effect a 2 by 2 system, which we could solve 
really using any method for a two by two system, but I'm just going to keep going with combination elimination. I'm going to move this one over underneath this one. So I'm going to rewrite the equation that was on the right underneath the equation on the left like this. And I'm going to do the same thing I did a minute ago. I'm going to try to eliminate one of these variables. Again, I see z on the top has a coefficient of 1, which is kind of nice, because now I can multiply it by 8, and it will be positive 8, and that will cancel the negative 8 on the bottom. And so I'm going to do that. I get negative 24y. I get positive 8z, which is what I want. and then I get 18 which is negative times 8 see that would be 144 I believe and I'm ready to put these together again negative 10y negative 24y is negative 34y the z's cancel that's good and then I've got to put together negative 26 and negative 144. And I believe that will give me negative 170. And so I'm making some progress here. I'm actually down to one variable at this point. I just need to divide everything by negative 34. And so when I divide 170 by negative 34 and that gives me uh, negative 170 by negative 34 that gives me positive 5 as my solution for y so I have one of the three variables solved now all I have to do once I've done this is start to substitute backwards I'm actually going to take one of the two two by two system problems either uh, Get a different color here so we can kind of differentiate. I'm either going to take this one or this one before we changed anything really so I probably should go back up to this one. And I'm going to use one of those two and substitute y in and that will give me a way to find z. So let's get a, a fresh page here and I'll rewrite those two that I put check marks by and then we'll substitute 5 into one of them and we'll continue substituting backwards to get the final answers. Okay, so now beginning with a fresh page, we found y and we have the two equations that we found, the 2 by 2 equations after we eliminated x. So I'm going to pick one of them and I'm going to pick the top one because it looks easier and I'm just going to plug that 5 in for y in that top equation and I'm going to be solving for z. Pretty easy to do. Negative 3 times 5, negative 15, plus z equals negative 18. And then to get z, I'm going to add 15, becomes positive 15 on the other side, to negative 18. And z then is equal to negative 3. So now I have y and I have z all I need is x. To get x I have to go way back up to the beginning of the problem which was on the previous screen and I'm actually going to use one of those three original equations. doesn't matter which but I actually like the one that was uh, rather simple that I wrote twice. That was x plus 2y instead of writing y I'm going to put in 5 plus z well that's plus negative 3 putting that in for z is equal to 9 that was one of my original three equations. It was the first one uh, on the original screen that I had. Uh, and I'm going to solve this. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 3 equals 9. So we have x plus 7 equals 9. And we're going to subtract 7. x is equal to 2. So now I also have my value for x. And I have solved after two screens of work for x, y, and z. We call this an ordered triple, a way of writing that solution. 
If you wanted to check this, and I'm not going to do it right now, you could go back to the original three equations, and then when you got back to those original three equations right there, them in the right colors here, you could plug in x, y, and z in each one of them and verify that this one, this one, and this one were all true. And that would show you that you had the right solutions uh, for the problem. It's really important to stay organized and be careful when you're doing these problems. Uh, as you can see, the math in them becomes pretty tedious, not hard necessarily, but you have to stay organized and uh, keep up with what you've done. So here's the solution for that 3x3. Three three. That's how you solve 3x3s. Three They're a little bit long. Uh, but not that hard to do. Just a combination of combination elimination like you do with 2x2 two two systems and then it turns to a 2x2 two two system that you solve and then you take the two variables from the 2x2 two two and substitute back into one of the original equations to find the third variable. Uh, I have more videos on solving systems, 2x2 two two systems, uh, by graphing, by substitution, and by combination and elimination uh, on my website at MyMathEducation.com or my YouTube channel, MyMathEducation. Uh, you're welcome to go take a look at those if you need more information about solving uh, any kind of systems of equations. And there are other uh, also videos on various algebra topics there that I invite you to watch. Thanks for seeing this one and I hope you'll come back if you need more help with other algebra topics.